What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're here at my favorite coffee shop, Spire Coffee. And welcome to the 2024 Tesla Model 3 Performance. I am in love. I have taken her for her inaugural car wash, first car wash, and I will be proud to say that came out with not a lot of micro scratches. Of course, after I went ahead and put some speed shine on it. One thing I'll tell you about this build, the fit and finish on it is amazing. It does have a couple blemishes on the paint, but as far as alignment and the tightness of the car, it is solid. One thing I've always had a pet peeve about on my Teslas is the motor noise. And this thing is quiet. You can actually see, I'm waiting on tint by the way, getting it tomorrow, but I even folded down the back seat so I can hear those performance motors a little bit more. They sound absolutely amazing. Wow. So on today's drive, we're gonna do a quick 12.3.6 full self-driving test. We're gonna head to Sam's Club. And then also we're gonna test out some auto park and we're gonna test out some shift out of, out of park. Wow. I am in love. The front end just looks so sleek. One thing I wanna point out is on the front end, it's much more flatter than the old version. Gives it a great look. I had no idea I was going to end up with the white interior. Still thinking about putting on my 18 inch wheels. A few people have asked why do I put on the 18s? It's really for the, that tire sidewall. Even though on these Pirellis, you do have a little bit of a lip over the, by the tire here. So it, that definitely gives you some protection. It's just I really like these the look of these 20s. But I love the feel of 18s. We'll have to see. Alright, let's go ahead and jump in and turn on FSD. I want to show you a little behind the scenes. This is the GoPro setup with the mount. I've also got the visors here from my last Performance Model 3. And the floor mats. Got the radar detector installed and still waiting on a home link for my garage door openers. All right, let's jump inside. What's up everybody? We're back in the 2024 Performance Model 3, which the name on this one is Ludicrous. We are really hoping that we get an update to update the dynamics and just put a little ludicrous button right there. I tell you what, if these motors can handle it, I'll pay for it. Now, navigate to Sam's Club. So we're going to go ahead and put Sam's Club 3.8 miles as the crow flies. But let's go ahead and test out some um, beta shift out of park. So I've already got it turned on. As soon as you tap on the brake, it will activate it so it's pulling out straight here so let's go ahead and just pull out real quick now it doesn't do like three point turns so say we wanted to stop here and then put it in again it doesn't go into reverse it's really meant for shift out of park although i would like it to shift out of everywhere all right so now we're parked let's go ahead and tap to park and then i'm going to go ahead and put on the brake it says press the brake again to, re to reverse it's already in reverse. We'll test it out one more time right here. It's going back up into this spot. And I know this isn't too confusing for it, but in general, it works pretty good so far when I've been using it. So we're completely stopped. We'll hit park or park to hold. Let's go ahead and lock it in. All right, we're stopped and then already in forward again. So FSD is ready to go and let's engage. Currently, let's check our autopilot settings. We're on assertive, minimal lane changes off, the expanded full self-driving is on, and the automatic set speed is on. We need to take a left here. Although it likes to go around the coffee shop. That's what I've noticed. So 4.3 miles, seven minutes in a route. Take a look at the stats. So far, lifetime, 109 miles. Come on, beta, let's not park here. We're kind of getting close to those pillars. I don't know if I like that very much. And we are stopped. I'm wondering why we stopped here. Maybe it knew I wanted coffee. Let's go ahead and give it some throttle. All right, back on it. Interesting that it stopped there. It's almost like it had muscle memory, right? But 109 miles and we're averaging 329. I want to say it's a little bit lower than that, but we'll have to get more data. This is the new UI. So currently the build we're on is 
14 this is a production build a, a new delivery build 14.100.1 so almost all the cars that are coming out of deliveries right now are coming with this one all right beta we have nobody around we are creeping we are hesitating and we're, we're on 12.3.6 it's been doing an amazing job but it's got a lot of hesitation still so it looks like we're gonna cruise through hop on the freeway here I kind of want to add a route Navigate to Wild Car Wash. I want to see if we can get another route in here that takes us to city streets. So let's go ahead and pop it in there. Let's see what routes pop up. There's the city streets route. So we do got the automatic set speed offset turned on, which I'm really in love with this feature. It takes a lot of the guesswork about having to up, scroll up, scroll down when you're in different areas. Curious how your feedback is on the auto set speed offset. In Vegas, it, it's pretty wild. <laughs> Good acceleration. And I think 12.14 or 12.15, the new 14.1 uh, version is going on. God, I keep, I can't keep track of these updates. All right, we're taking it right here. But it did go out to employees, I believe. So hopefully it gets in the hands of some of these early FSD beta testers and then send it out to the public. 12.3.6 is still an amazing build, but I can only imagine how much better it's going to get. Currently got 229 or 222 miles on the clock, which is 73%. I'm not sure why it didn't go. So this is, let me turn off beta real quick. And then when I turn it back on, the full screen should engage. So that's that feature, the new feature. I kind of like that. I did lower the tire pressure down, so I think I lowered them to about 44 cold, and now they're just warming up, 46 PSI all the way around. Traditionally, I like the square setup better, and that's why I think I'm gonna put on my 18s. There's just so much to talk about, the different size wheels and the not squared setup. It's great for performance, but for daily driving, I don't think it's necessary. And we got the green light. Another awesome feature I wanted to show you if I go into the settings here, or not into the settings, but if I go into the air conditioning, if you look here on the bottom, you got the cooled seats. I just leave them on three bars max. I don't even mess with the auto because I just want them on all the time. Here in Vegas, for the rest of the summer, it's going to be easily 90 degrees minimum, even in the morning or at night. Usually it's about 100 degrees at night. But these cooled seats are just fantastic. They don't, they're not on when there's no passenger here, by the way. And then there's three settings with the new UI, low, medium, and high for the auto, which I just kind of leave it in medium. I did hear on the next version too, on the 14.1, uh, that they're supposed to be tweaking the slowdown and acceleration speeds. I almost feel like I've been noticing that already on this build. Green light. Beat that car off the line. Still good. I like this acceleration. I think it's perfect. Sometimes I think we could even dial it up more. All right, so we're in this lane. It's going to end in about maybe 400 yards. We do have traffic behind. I'm going to go ahead and push my, my new camera button on the wheel. FSD's merging over. Perfect timing. Any later, we would have been in trouble with that car. Well, they are turning, so that's good. I love this little button for the rear cam. I just got to get more muscle memory to use it more often. I almost went for the button here, which I pulled down. If you look here, you can pull any of these... Uh, icons you can pull them into your board i think you can do three here and then it has recents as well that's usually where i would turn on my rear camera but now with it on the steering wheel we are set nice full stop good acceleration Woo. let's go the temperature outside so currently 105 degrees at 524 I almost wanted to do a sunset night drive it's just I uh, worked too much today I'm too tired so we are getting an early evening FSD beta drive 
the 100 day challenge is officially over but i'm still going to try to continue to make daily videos i don't know how long i can keep doing this for i was just talking to a friend today about how how stressed i am because i just got so much going on it's like but you know what that's what life life's about you know put your best foot forward and i'll tell you one thing when you're busy you don't have time to worry about anything got the protected green arrow kind of slow and hesitant here They have done some construction to this road, but FSD will handle it great, I'm sure. I almost feel like they dialed it back a little bit, but we're in the 30 doing 34. I say dialed it back, we're still going over. One mile till our destination, three minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and end the trip here. Navigate to Sam's Club. Sam's is back in 1.9 miles and that is the original destination so let's kind of take a look at this map how it wants us to go it almost looks like we're going through Montecito here the back roads we're going to take that route I like it so yeah what else to talk about this new performance model 3 it is fantastic. Every time I jump in it, it definitely feels new. With these new seats, it has a totally different feel. Got the green light. Another thing I wanted to say is the LEDs on the front are lined up like a button. I know in the past I've seen some Highlands come out that had off-center LEDs, which looked kind of weird. This car is buttoned up. The seams on it, the gaps, the tightness, it's super solid. It's unlike any other delivery I've ever had as far as uh, body panel tightness and gaps even the glass in the back it's just very put together so shout out to tesla for making this performance amazing looks like we're going to be going through this light and then taking the right on the next light montecito it's so quiet in here so smooth even when it's going over the bumps it, something goes off in my mind that I don't think I've ever felt these bumps that quiet. It just, the dampening is on point. And we got the green light. That car next to me was getting honged at for not going right on red. Oh, it's so funny. In this heat, you gotta watch out for road rage. Like people have a short attention span when it comes to uh, driving out here. Wow, it's just so smooth. Take a quick look at some of my settings. So on dynamics, we got it on insane mode, which is the fastest mode and nothing else that I wouldn't use. Standard, light mode on the steering wheel, apply brakes if the wrench end of braking is limited, and then the auto shift out of park beta, which I do like. See, even right here, much better. It doesn't slow down so quick anymore. I was complaining on like video after video about that, but not anymore. Now I just have to talk about it because it's not happening. Good acceleration. I hope they don't dumb down the acceleration any more than where it's at right now because this is perfect. Handles these S turns with ease. So yeah, what do you guys think about swapping the 20s with 18 inch? I'm definitely gonna do it, it's just a matter of when. Like every night though, I think about it. Cause I just wanna feel what it feels like, right? All right, we're hesitating. Got a protected green left. Kinda hesitant back here. Let's go before it turns yellow. Very cautious and slow. Pulled right into the middle almost. A little over the line. I have seen drivers do that. It must have got some clips from one of those drivers. We're going to be moving over to the right lane shortly. Oh, as I say it. Forty-seven warm. It'll probably hit 48 once you get going, but I don't know, I think that's fine. I used to actually run my other performance tires at 50 sometimes for efficiency, but 
for smoothness I would probably say like 44 or maybe 42 whatever the recommended is it was funny I was merging onto the freeway earlier this morning and a cyber truck was merging on I felt like we were both checking out each other's cars he was checking out the new performance and I'm checking out the new cyber truck that's what I was feeling All right, merging into the Sam's Club. Let's see how the parking lot is today. And then we will test out another auto park. I know we had a question about really stress testing the shift out of park beta, but it's kind of hard because it just nails it every time. Like, I'm trying to think of scenarios that I could do. All right, we need to pull up to creep. Can't see to my left yet. All right, I can see we're clear. And we have, we have the green light now, we're protected. Those people in that car were wondering why I was talking to myself. Nice black Corvette. Have I told you that black is the best color? All right, looks like we're gonna be pulling on to the front of Sam's Club. And then we'll test out Auto Park and ship that a beta. Yeah, I just can't really think of any tough scenarios. If you can think of a tough scenario that's accessible to me for the shift out of park, I'd love to hear it. All right, it says autopilot navigation complete. So we definitely made it over here with zero disengagement. Let's go ahead and cancel beta and find a spot to auto park. I don't think they've actually uh, really updated the auto park yet until we get the next version. But let's see, do a countdown. Usually takes about 30 seconds. All right, I think right here by this median and the left right by this tree here. So it's just full stop, one and two, mm -hmm. one 1,000. So a little over 30 seconds right there, and the Suburban was a little bit slow. It's just too slow. It definitely, once it gets accurate, if they can crank up the speed about four or five X, I think no one will even notice at that point. Right now, it definitely is an odd behavior to see the car going slow. All right, we're in park. It puts you into park once you complete the maneuver. Now let's go ahead and press. So it already knows we wanna go and drive. So all I did was press the brake. Let's go ahead and pull up here. Now here's an interesting one. We have a lane ahead and behind. So let's do a full stop. We'll press park to tap and then press on the brake and it says tap brake to activate and it wants us to go forward. Let's pull up to this spot. I don't think it would go back, but it'll probably go forward again. So press the brake to activate, one and forward. And that's gonna wrap it up everybody. Thank you so much for watching. This is 2024.14.1 .1 production build version 12.3.6 FSD beta and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.